self-defense has always been the cornerstone of human evolution. Before we could discover fire, invent the wheel, or even run or walk, we had to defend ourselves outside the chip shop at three in the morning. As Chinese general Sun Tzu always said, love chippy, love heaven, hate me philosophical teachings being used as memes. But now self-defense has changed. No longer are we foraging for berries or food like crafting survival games. We're surviving the concrete jungle and no one can help us more than Detroit urban survival training or dust. Where a wholesome man who's clearly having too much fun teaches you how to survive day-to-day -day encounters. Move over, Master Chief. No. Settle down, random mercenary from Far Cry 2, because Commander Dale Brown is here to show you how it's done. Recently, Detroit Urban Survival Training has been doing massive numbers on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, they're everywhere. It's a company based on Detroit with the main premises, you hire them to protect you or your business with the very affordable and friendly policy of $1 a minute. This location, this is one of our clients. If you set up security service with us, we respond to your home, 10 minutes, $10. So when we respond to your home, it's a $10 charge. Now, I do wanna say their main goal of protecting people for money, I don't see a problem with that. It's taking advantage of one of the most deprived cities in America, but you know, if it helps people out, why am I complaining? Because that is exactly not what I'm here for today. <laughs> Detroit Urban Survival Training has expanded their business so large that they have presence on every social media where they teach you, common poor person, how to defend yourself for free. Now, the problem with these self-defense videos is they are they're very optimistic. They treat every situation like you will come out on top, despite defending yourself against an armed attacker is probably one of the most dangerous things you could do in your entire life. They treat most encounters like you passed a check in a Bethesda game, in the sense that once you give any kind of aggression back, they'll just stop instantly, retreat, and surrender. And who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear. You should stop. Okay. Now, when I want to open up with this video. It's probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, essentially, this is simulating a child being kidnapped and how you and the child can stop the kidnap from happening. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what All would right, happen. So a guy tries to kidnap your kid. Please stop. Oh, okay. M my bad. All right. So the way that worked. Uh, it didn't work. Want to quickly shill as well. The clips you'll see today are taken from my Twitch channel. I'm live on there most days. Feel free to check me out. And also, please consider subscribing to the channel. I just got told that Will and E is very close to overtaking me. My fragile ego is absolutely shattered. So please consider subscribing. Thank you. Kids front grab escape. <laughs> uh, kick my five-year-old. Uh. Man grabs up. Stop it. Push the eyes. Stop it. <laughs> now, the company does also have some very strange opinions. Like, for example, the statement that uh, human hands aren't designed to hold anything very well. The hand is not able to hold things very well. <laughs> Fuck! Because apparently if you grab the human hand by certain pressure points, you can totally disarm someone. Now, sure, I mean, you can say that the human hand isn't meant to be holding things, despite the fact that we've made tools specifically designed around the ergonomics of the human hand. This man holds a weapon, he's holding it hard. If I push my finger against this barrel... So he's using his index finger to bend the entire gun. <clears throat> I, I tried this for a video. This shit does not work. <laughs> got uh, uh, an iron cast BB gun. You can't do that. Th this clip actually went so viral that there was even a tactical firearms instructor doing a parody just showing how this doesn't make any sense. It takes two tenths of a second for her to press this trigger. It takes one tenth of a second for me to move out of the way. Okay, you don't supposed to change positions. Mission failed. We'll get next time. I want to say as well, going off on a bit of a tangent, they do have their own merch page. Feel free to visit and buy anything you want. The reason why I'm mentioning the merch is because some of it looks quite, uh, looks quite phallic to the point that the guy himself, Dale Brown, actually had to make a video <laughs> addressing it. Thousands of people making inappropriate comments. This, these are keychains. <laughs> I love the fact that he's getting comments about that as well. Young men, what's under your mother's bed is none of your business. That is not a keychain. 
Do not attempt to attach keys to it. You might as well just like speed up everything he's saying and just put like the impact font on top, just saying cope. I don't think I've ever heard someone say the line, young man, whatever's under your mother's bed in such an authoritative and commanding way. Young man, what's under your mother's bed? is none of your business. <laughs> now, this company's been around for decades, but they've recently got some recognition when Vice did a mini documentary on them. Vice being the once viral YouTube channel that you just could not get out your recommended. Yeah, rip. And I mean, they had some pretty good stuff. Like I remember when Shane Smith, the exec chairman of Vice, he went to North Korea, did some filming where he shouldn't. And it was really cool and insightful to see that perspective. I remember a really good one I watched like yearly at this point is the UK's scariest debt collector, or as I like to call it, the quietest man in Birmingham. Give me a grand to keep your job, stay in the gym. If you don't want to give me a grand, by the end of the day, I'll smash your head in. I'll smash your head in. Aww. But recently, Vice's content has got a bit more... Uh tame i guess but yeah they, they did a video on uh, detroit urban survival training and <laughs> it's interesting you're trained as bodyguards you're trained to make sure that people stay safe this is the purpose of our organization for over 20 years and this is what we do like I said earlier, this company has actually been around for about 20 years. They've actually got a, a website and I, I've been looking around it for a bit and some of the videos that they have on there are so old. It looks like the opening to a jackass kit or a, a cheap porn film. I don't know what you really, really do. I mean, I've seen training videos, but right, I don't know. Videos. I mean, if anything, it looks like they're in some kind of like SCP facility. So, you know, if you're going for the, the bad guy layer, You've got that 100%. Uh, these are our, our motorcycles. These motorcycles allow us to get to situations very quickly. This custom boat allows us to get into shallow water. It's also very fun, it jumps over waves, and uh, people enjoy riding in it. I like how he's trying to explain how professional this is, but he's almost coming across like his kids might be watching. So we're here to uh, protect the civilians, but also water is fun. This custom boat's also very fun, it jumps over waves. Each sold separately, batteries not included. I went on Detroit Urban's founder's page, Dale Brown, he's got a LinkedIn, and he specifically says that his company stops violence by creating non-violent strategies. So basically a deterrent before any kind of violence can occur or crime. Again, I want to say this is extremely noble. He's basically using the force and presence of his company as a deterrent to stop crime before it takes place. He grabs the gun. <laughs> And then he, he lightly grabs his face. And then that guy's just like, oh my God, social distancing. And he completely, completely, like he just turned like an off switch on his neck. Like, what the fuck was that? But first, a sponsor. Or oh, the unexpected shilling to pay my deadbeat landlord. All right, so imagine this. You're trapped on a tropical island. There's a man with a mohawk that was probably cool in 2007, telling you the definition of insanity. Ah, too, too dated. Okay, uh, what about a dystopian future where climate change has affected the earth so badly people experience real life glitches? No, it, it, it just wouldn't sell well. Okay, what about a guy that plays a mobile game that's free to play on iOS and Android where you fight PvE and PvP arenas? That's perfect. I'll green light it right away. Oh uh, uh, yeah, what, what should the trailer be? Well, most audiences only like superhero stuff, so we need something really simple to get them hooked. What about we make a trailer that's a top 10 list. You're a genius, employee 11. A complete genius. Raid moments. Number 10. Character designs are amazing. Just look at this one. He looks like he's gonna fold his arms and give you an opinion that no one asked for. The graphics are incredible. Just look at the polygons on that bosom. The graphics. That's, you know, that's really what this is all about. Upgrade your champion to the tavern. Nothing like a British pint to make a man stronger. It was love sacred order. Super lads. Because it's on phone, you can play it anywhere. My favorite place is sat on the toilet while my wife is shouting at me. Teehee, join a clan and take on the clan boss to get tons of rewards. It's kind of like a prestige lobby, but you don't get scammed. Number five, they've now added a Hydra into the game, an incredibly hard boss with multiple heads, like the head of Blight that poisons your team, or the head of Torment, making you skip your turn out of pure fear. Finally, 
a Dark Souls reference. And if that isn't enough, everyone gets a free, simple raid champion between now and January 28th, 2022. All you have to do is log in for seven different days. I'd love to play a simple. Look how wholesome he looks. Number three, go to the link in description or scan my QR code and you'll get the epic champion Aina. Finally, woman in video games. I'm so happy to be a part of this movement. You also get 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard that you could use to summon epic champions. Oh my God. You can find all the treasure here. I'm legally obligated to show you because some of you are just that brain dead. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be a great movie. High five. But what was number one? Oh, no idea. Which is figments of imagination in a character's mind. Oh, that's uh, that's quite depressing. Raid. Free game. One. One left. One. One left. One more left. So police use law enforcement. And what we do is use bodyguarding tactics to prevent predation. Again, I don't want to say as warm and friendly as a vibe I get off Dale, this wholesome man. I, I think it's more the way you dress, the big blacked out SUVs and the big scary sirens that is protecting the community rather than the uh, the training that you hand out. Don't move. What? What? This isn't the Matrix, dude. He's standing there like a fucking Giga Chad, by the way. Like he knows shit is going to go down. And not that he's an instructor and knows what's going to happen. They've shown up whenever I, I've called them. And in fact, their response time is so much greater than the Detroit Police Department that without them, I would not be as comfortable. Now, oh my Lord, baby Jesus. I'm about to have an opinion. Please, Lord, protect me from cancelling. No! I think... It's a bit unfair to compare a private company that you pay for to protect you and their response times to your local police department. I want to say as well, before anyone like jumps down my throat about that, even the people voicing the Vice documentary pretty much infer that. After the city filed for bankruptcy in 2013, budget and pay cuts have pushed cops towards better paying police work outside of the city. Dale is obviously a very nice guy. He started his own company. He used to be in the army, founded Dust, and is using it to protect the community and also make a bit of money on the side. The problem is you're giving incredibly false expectations with your self-help videos because what you're essentially doing is telling people that heavy rain quick time events will work in the real world. And the problem is on the internet, any trend, anything we have seen time and time again, there are morons dense enough that will try it. You've got to scrum it. Oh, come on. Come on. He already put the knife in your back. If you've been stabbed, simply grab the knife and stab them back. Pushing their hands, bracing, stopping you from having freedom. Here's what you can do. Uh, you, you would not be able to disarm someone just by grabbing their hand. Ugh. Take the pads and the fingers here, and you can pull the wrist and press the hand. Dog! Young men, it's under your mother's bed. It's none of your business. It's been a couple days since I reacted to this content, and in my absence, the Pyrocynical subreddit has sprung up with so many semi-sarcastic memes about this guy. Thank you, Detroit Urban Survival Training. Very cool. In today's video, I will show more tips on how to defend yourself against gamers. The, the first way you defend yourself against a gamer, you don't even talk to them. You don't engage. You have to use the G word. We, we gone. gone. If you get someone talk and then just speed it up, wh why is that funny? What, what part of your brain makes that funny? If you're ever in a situation with a gacha player, all you have to do is sing them a lullaby song. Gacha players are rarely above the age of five. What is gacha? I'm gonna look this up. Get yeah, literally just anime everywhere. Believe me, we gone. What the fuck is this? this is deviant shit. Similar to loot boxes. Okay, anime and loot boxes. Yep. I'm about as happy that I haven't heard about that as I haven't played League of Legends. If you're facing a Fortnite player, show them what a girl is. They've never seen one in their life. The girl will make them so uncontrollably lustful that they instantly fall down. Thanks for watching, and I hope this increases your survivability. <laughs> uh, th th this one as well. This was like one of my favorites. Detroit Urban Survival Training. I'm going to share with you what to do when you're surrounded by a bunch of men when they try to attack you. Me dodging all the mods in our Paracynical while I try to shitpost. post. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I like it because we have literally had a purge on our subreddit. There's like a post on there now with like 7k and it's like uh, World War One with like the Germans and the British coming together on the battlefield be like, we're home. You guys that would post on there some nondescriptive meme that didn't, that wasn't even relevant. Get out of here. Get out. High quality content from here on in. Now, this next one that comes up is like one of my personal favorites. It's essentially Dale teaching you how to stop a gun from firing by you grabbing the gun. It, it, it's like he's seen five minutes of Matrix Reloaded. First thing we're gonna do is we can't move out of the way, we can't move offline. And if I to, were to try to move this, as soon as he saw my hand move, he's gonna fire. Uh, uh, okay, okay. In this situation, if you move your hands, they'll fire the weapon, okay. So we have to make this weapon not fire. So the reason why it didn't move, the slide didn't slide, is because I inhibited it by pushing it to the roof. <laughs> Bro, you just need to add like a quick time event. Now this one was actually so stupid, I, I have to try it out on myself. Just a test like the guy did. Yeah. Do it again, do it again. Alright. Oh, did it work? Yeah. No, it didn't work, that's full of shit. Yeah. Just a disclaimer, I don't have any striker-fired guns. I don't have anything apart from endless supply of knives in my drawers because I'm British. But what would happen if both of you were in a confrontation and neither of you had a gun? As a non-American, I have no idea. But Dale is here to show you by using uh, a keychain because uh, you always want to use a keychain to kill someone. Detroit Urban Survival Training. If the person's walking in your space, you can actually take the front of it, go right into the chest, back them off. Oh, the come four. on, dude. You're wearing a zip up. If the world was as optimistic as this guy, there wouldn't even be wars because everyone would be able to, like, there would be no guns in America. There'd be no knives in the UK. It'd be people with these fucking self-defense pens. One thing I love about these videos, I binge like their entire YouTube catalog in one sitting on stream. They treat your nose. Like it is some kind of eternal weak point. Like it's kryptonite, it's Superman. When Thanos died in Endgame, it wasn't from the snap. It's because someone flicked his nose. I'm gonna pull in the jaw. I'm gonna go across here, right across the bridge of the nose. They'll still be able to breathe. What is with this guy's obsession with the nose? He's acting like the nose is this like holy grail of weak points. Like, like you'll always get a crit if you, if you go for the nose. But I'm gonna crush in here, grab my bicep here, pulling in. And from here, we can transport them backwards. Or <laughs> let them go. You he also does videos in the great outdoors, showing you how to spot a stalker and deal with them. What happens now? I, my odds are he's saying you take out the pen that they sell online and use it to disarm the car. You're going to go to the nearest police station and call 911 on the way. When you call 911... <laughs> like he looks like such a little child. The way he's like holding, look at his fucking massive ass biceps, but he's still holding, he's got his little phone like he's a child. They also do tutorials. If women are attacked, how they can defend themselves. And this one here, th th this makes the nose one look completely legit. Do you know what to do if your neck is grabbed from the rear? If your neck is grabbed from the rear, clasp your hands, turn. Oh, come on, come on. What Urban Survival Training wants you to do is turn yourself into a human flashbang. If anything, personally, if I was grabbed and loud noises are deterrents, I just put on a too mad try not to laugh video on my phone. Don't move, you move, I should <laughs> This shit is actually out of Detroit become human, man. Now, they've done a lot of pistol disarms, uh, grabbing the pistol, trying to block the slide. This one is probably my favorite because this one is basically asking you to get shot in the fastest way possible. If anything that these guys have taught you today that is like a life speed run any percent, <laughs> it would be this tutorial right here. Uh, or just allowing them to kill you. Here's some options. That may I feel this guy could have like an actual assassination attempt on him. And he just would not care. I'm going to share with you today some ideas that can assist you in the event that you get shot. Push the barrel up. If you kill me, I want it to be a clean shot. Just, just make sure you press the gun as far as you can into my chest. Assisted suicide. <laughs> <laughs> 
Overall, again, I do want to say I respect what the company's trying to do. They've obviously got very good morals. This isn't a quick cash grab. This is someone who is in the army and he's put time and dedication into his company. That is actual, like, if I've ever seen, like, a man in deeper thought, like, you've disturbed this man meditating. It's just, uh, I personally would not try any of these. I think he's even said himself that you should never try any of these. If someone wants to rob you, just get robbed. I think you've got a higher chance of survival. You may lose some, some Robux, some, uh, Fortnite V-Book cards. At least you'll be alive, all right? Oh.